Hello my kids, how is it going? I hope all you are safe and sound. Before we going to start our video, I request all you to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the new videos. Dear children, today we are going to discuss the poem Y of Unit 4 from the text Mary Gold. Okay. The main elements in the video are recitation, explanation, new words and its meaning. Okay. So let's start the poem recitation. The name of the poem is Y. Okay. So Listen the first stanza. I know a curious little boy who is always asking why, why this, why that, why then, why now, why not, why by the by. Okay, children. Now let us understand the first stanza of this poem. Here in the first stanza, the poet is talking about a little boy. Who is very curious. Okay, what is the meaning of curious? Curious means eager to know everything, eager to know something. Curious, what is the spelling of curious? C U R I O U S. So, curious means eager to know everything. So, here the little boy, he is always keeps on asking why this, why is this happening, why is that happening, why didn't it happen then, why is this happening now. So, every time, every time he always asking such types of questions about the things that he sees around him. So, every time he has so much of so much uh, doubts regarding the things he observed around him. Okay. Now move to the second stanza. He wants to know why wood should swim, why lead and marble sing, why sun should shine and wind should blow and why we eat and drink. See once again I am reciting that stanza. He wants to know why wood should swim, why lead and marble sing, why sun should shine and wind should blow. And why we eat and drink. So dear children, in this stanza, the poet continues to tell about curiosity of the little boy. He again wants to know why, why he again asking so much questions regarding the things he observed around him. So he again wants to know why does wood swim, why does wood float in the water and why does lead and marble sink in water do you know what is the meaning of lead lead meaning which means a soft metallic element that is called lead okay so this lead this metallic element see that oh, this sinks in water he so that the lead when he put lead in water it sinks it sinks in water then what the meaning of meaning of marble marble means small glass balls okay small glass balls so this uh, lead and marble sink in water again he asking some other questions like why the sun why the sun shines and wind blows also why do we eat and drink he again asking why why do we eat and drink what is the necessity of eating and drinking okay now move to the third stanza he wants to know what makes the clouds and why they cross the sky, why sinks the sun behind the hills and why the flowers die. See, here in this third stanza, poet says more examples of the questions asked by the little boy. He wants to know how, how the clouds formed and why do they cross the sky, why they move across the sky. He also wants to know why the sun set behind the hills and beautiful flowers in the garden die. When he woke up and uh, entered into the garden, he saw that all the flowers drop down. Okay, then he asking the questions why these beautiful flowers in the garden die. Okay, now move to the last answer. Some of these whys are not too hard 
to answer if you will try. Others, no one ever yet has found the reason why. See, once again I am repeating that last stanza. Some of these whys are not too hard to answer if you will try. Others, no one ever yet has found the reason why. See, here in the last stanza, the poet tells us that here are some of his questions or some of the questions asked by the curious boy are not difficult to answer. But some of the questions are very difficult to answer us. No one has to found its answer. And we have accepted them as facts. Children, can you tell me uh, the opposite of hard? Opposite is soft or we can say light. The meaning of reason is a cause. A cause. Dear children, once again I am repeating the new words. Curious, lead, sink, marble, reason. Okay. Children, this is all about this lesson. Why? Okay. Thank you.